Hey guys, this is Anthony with Training with AJ, and today is going to be a quick review on my Leatherman Raptor. This is a must need tool for any EMT, um, nurse, doctor, or especially a military medic. So let's go through all the functions and all the tools on this awesome piece of equipment. So the first thing I wanted to show you was just the regular uh, EMT shears, or some people refer to as the um, trauma shears. And really the only thing you can really do with this is just cut through clothing. And that's it. And it works fine. I mean, it's fairly inexpensive. You can pick up one of these probably for uh, a few bucks at any um, dollar store even. Um, I know they sell it at Harbor Freight or you can get it through your uh, medical supply company. So, but all it does and all it's really um, able to do is just cut through clothing. So instead of carrying this and a knife and oxygen bottle opener and um, a glass breaker and a bunch of other tools, um, I'm going to show you the new Leatherman Raptor. And I think it's been on the market for a while. It's just something that's, that's been very new to me. I wish I had known um, this thing was available when I was on active duty because uh, I would have had one issued to every one of my, every one of my corpsmen because uh, I think it's a very useful piece of equipment. So let's take a look. Alright, so here it is. Here's the Leatherman Raptor. And let's just go through uh, just the basic uh, functions of it real quick. As you can see, it's shaped just like a uh, EMT shears or trauma shears. And for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to call it EMT shears. Okay, because that's what I've always known it as. Now, let's start from the front and kind of work our way back. So you have right on the front here, you can see there's measurements here and at first I thought eh, it's not gonna be I'll probably never really use that but some of my um, friends who are EMT workers they have told me that it has come in real handy especially to approximate wound sizes um, you know for cuts and things like that they can just put it right next to the wound and, and get a pretty good uh, approximation of the wound size now as you can see the cutting surface here it these are really sharp and real I mean real handy and real smooth so you got the cutting surface here okay now if you look right back here right in the back right here as you can see where I'm pointing you have a ring cutter so it will cut through pretty much any uh, type of ring that's out on the market and and all it takes is maybe two snips depending how wide the band is but it works really good and I will try to do a uh, a performance uh, video uh, at a later date on these shears so I can show you how well it cuts through rings how well it cuts through clothes so again you got the cutter here and then you got the ring cutter right back here now the other nice thing is that this comes with um, a strap cutter right there and right here as you can see is an oxygen bottle opener so pretty cool right strap cutter oxygen bottle opener and it locks into place so once it locks it doesn't move and then if you want to um, if you want to fold it back in you just press this lever right here press it down and close it back up okay now it was, as we move back to the back right here okay right there you can see nice and pointy I'll try to bring it closer there we go right here you can see that it's got a glass breaker okay and then of course you got your little lanyard hole uh, hole for a lanyard right there. Um, now the cool thing with this um, EMT shears is that it is foldable so it's kind of like um, it's kind of like a transformer okay so check this out you see this button right here right there you depress that down and then you fold up your handle flip it around same thing depress and it folds so you can carry, and it comes with a built-in pocket clip already, as you can see right there. Uh, so you can carry this in your pocket. However, your Raptor does come with a holster. It looks just like this. It's a Kydex holster, and you can actually uh, carry this either in the folded configuration or in the open configuration. And I'll show you that here in a second. Now on the back, you can. It's got an attachment for a belt, and it looks like uh, it will take up to a inch and three quarters belt. Or you can actually attach this to a Molly or Pals um, webbing system, uh, which is pretty cool. So, and you can make this left or right. So you can mount it on this side, or as it comes, mount it for a right-handed person. So, pretty nice. 
uh, Kydex holster and check it out. Once you lock it in, it will not it will not uh, come out. Okay, I mean it's not going to come out uh, by accident. You're going to have to like literally uh, pull it out um, purposely, and it comes out fairly easily. Not too bad. Now let me show you uh, stowing it in the open uh, configuration like this. All you have to do is you slide it in, and it locks. You cannot pull this out. There's a tab right here that you have to depress. So all I got to do is just press this tab right here where my index finger is, push that down, and it comes right out nice and easy. So awesome piece of equipment for any EMT, any nurse, um, or any doctor, especially if you work in the ER. Um, because how many times have you uh, gone to get some oxygen and you can't find the oxygen wrench anywhere? Well, not a problem. All you got to do is flip this out. And you got an oxygen wrench right there. What about um, you have a patient and you know you got to get their rip their jeans off or whatever? Well, all you know with these, all you got to do is snip it, get the strap cutters right at your cut, and just rip it down. And it's really sharp uh, without hurting the patient because this end right here is kind of um, right here. It's kind of rounded and smooth, so you can just follow the cut. So it's, uh, again, real convenient. This is a must-have for any um, emergency worker. Or just a cool piece of equipment to have uh, in your emergency bag, in your vehicle, or uh, even just on you. I mean, who doesn't need to cut something at some point in their, in their life? So, all right. But as you can see, folds up nice and easily. And, <coughs> excuse me. And with one hand, I can actually open this and lock it, you know. And then if, I, if I'm done cutting or whatever I need to do, you know, I'm just thinking, okay, am I able to uh, utilize this piece of equipment with one hand? And thus far, I'm able to cut my uh, strap off or cut somebody else's strap off. And again, restow it with one hand, okay. Um, again, just hold it like this and smash the glass to get somebody um, out of their vehicle if they need to. And I'm just trying to think what else. Um, but yeah, it just, uh, you know, the ring cutter comes in real handy. You know, I've had a situation where, uh, gosh, this was like probably 12, 13 years ago, uh, I injured my ring finger on my left hand and my hand started swelling up. I had to cut my wedding band off. And um, I literally um, had to take a Dremel tool to uh, saw it off and that was painful um, but it was emergency and uh, my wife understood so got a new ring since then but uh, there you go okay so that's my quick review kind of down and dirty on the Leatherman Rafter um, take a look at it maybe a piece of equipment that you may uh, find that will work for you in your um, emergency response um, or in your emergency plan so until next time, guys, this is Anthony with Training with AJ. Um, remember, your uh, self-defense is your responsibility. Take care and stay safe.